What's up, gaming label nation, if you will? Um, it's Game Boy 40. I'm a new director to the channel, and I'm playing Conquest right now. And anyone who's a squad leader, suggest doing what I just did. I looked at B, hit the select button, and put a squad attack point. Uh, you do get more X, you do get more points when you do anything around there, uh, killing, capping, all that good stuff. So. Excuse me. I would definitely suggest that, and I also suggest if you're a conquest player on a map like this, when there's three waypoints, definitely head for the middle one first. That's what I did. And what is up with people using those stupid UAVs to try to kill people? It, I, I just don't understand it. You know, I would not want to watch a YouTube video with people just running people over with them. It would get kind of stupid let alone you're hurting your team obviously you're not spotting people because you're flying around a little droid <laughs> yeah I said droid um, yeah, here's your med kit. we're trying to run into people uh, I guess that maybe there is a an unlock you gotta do for it or something I don't know because I haven't unlocked a second sniper rifle out of the new group so I wouldn't be able to tell you for sure I'm sure someone would tell me but that's all that's all I see anymore like when you play um, I can't remember the first name but the highway map at night on conquest all you see is that little map flying all over the place trying to run people over and I'm just like what is going on here but hey if people want to sit back and waste their time like this this like this game 17 minutes long video I apologize for it but I don't really like to cut down my videos for the fact that um, I like to just show the whole thing show people my mistakes show everything and all that other good stuff so that's just how I play and that's how I edit my videos, do my recordings, do everything. So I'm sorry that it's 17. You may not like it. You may like it. But the gameplay is decent. Uh, definitely it's not something that's completely bad. So anyways, back to what I was talking about with that map. Uh, can anyone explain to me what the point of this is? I, I just don't understand it. It's kind of... I don't know. It's just one of those things why waste your time doing something that boring. I don't understand how that could be fun, but anyways, another thing I want to bring up too is the USAS 12 shotgun with the 12 gauge uh, frag rounds. What is the deal with them now? You'll notice we or we end up we're stomping these guys at one point, and then all of a sudden all of the players over there start pulling out this weapon with them frag rounds, and they just instantly just take us over. They're, uh, they're so lethal. Um, it's just unreal. They do, I think they do more damage than the, M2, the M320, the grenade launcher. For the fact of the matter is you could spit out more of them rounds quicker than you can with the, with the grenade launcher. But uh, what, what is the deal with it? Can someone explain that to me too? Because do these players think they're like elite battlefield players using that weapon? Because I kind of look at them and just laugh because... Obviously, they can't shoot a regular gun because we pump, we just straight rip them up from the start here. And then when we play maps where those weapons are pretty much useless, we just shred them because they, they don't know how to use an actual rifle or light machine gun or a submachine gun. It, it's it's sad. And it's all these high-ranking players that are doing it. I mean, they're ranks higher than I am that are just running around thinking they're, you know, King Cheese with it. But hey... I guess uh, people play games differently, you know, they spent the 65 bucks so they can play however they want, but to me, I, my personal opinion, and a couple of the guys that I've talked to, subs, friends, and even guys that, uh, that I just met playing, they also agree the point of that weapon and the power it has and what it does actually makes people not want to play the game. If, to me, it's kind of like Battlefield's way of trying to make the game more Call of Duty-like. I know I'm going to get hit with crap for saying that, but it's honestly true. You know, it's just, it feels like I'm back into Modern Warfare 2 when noob tubes were all over the place. Anyone who played Modern Warfare 2 would understand, the, you know, the issue with noob, noob tubes in that game. But that's that's what it feels like. You'll, you'll end up seeing it here soon. You walk around a corner and... It doesn't matter how many rounds you put into the dude. If he has that USAS-12, you're dead. It's just, oh, I get knifed there. I get owned. But, hey, like I said, if people want to play it that way, go for it. But I just get kind of lost with 
why they would want to play it that way in my opinion it, I don't know I don't think I don't see how that could be enjoyable because you know you don't even really have to ADS you just aim and just start spraying around them and you're gonna kill them you know where's the fun out of trying to be good at the game but hey you know people are probably gonna say hey you're using the FAMAS well honestly in my opinion and I've played um, enough battlefields and enough of some games I r really don't see the FAMAS being that overpowered uh, the only time I really see it overpowered is up close in hip shooting there's minimal recoil and you could just mow through people you'll you'll see here in a part of the clip coming up but as far as I'm concerned I think the F2000 has more of a right to be uh, land based with stuff than that I don't really care to use the F2000 or not the F2000 the uh, FAMAS normally I'm the KH2002 guy uh, but I wasn't going to record this game and when I started recording I already had the weapon pulled so I decided what the heck might as well just keep using it but I really don't care for it. It's it's nice, you know. But oh, who knows? Right now I'm using it pretty much for some uh, XP because I haven't used it all that much. So I figured I'd use it for a little XP and then jump to my back to my KH2002. That is my weapon of choice. I love that gun. I prefer guns that just are primarily burst fire. That's just my way to play. <laughs> Also, I wanted to talk about, I already said something about the squad in the last video he was able to post was about uh, my the spawning technique. This one, I already started off about putting the the objective at B. On this small of a map, I really don't use the, I don't move the objective too much because pretty much you're going to be either holding uh, A, B, or C, B, or if you're holding just one point, you're going to be around B at some point trying to... Um, get some kills so I figured on these type of boards I just leave it but I also wanted to bring up if you're a medic I'm telling you right now revive your friends I'm not just saying that for the points for anyone who's a stat whore out there reviving your friends reviving fallen comrades if you get revived it actually does not count towards your death and it doesn't even count towards your death say you get shot you're down, someone revives you and you get killed again. It's not um, like Bad Company 2 where you got counted for the de two deaths. You only get counted for one death. If you get revived and you run away, you don't get counted for a death till you die again. The reason why I'm sitting back here right now is the fact that I'm the only one at B. I know if I go up towards that door, someone's going to spawn right back here and come up, probably knife me, do all that good stuff. So I ended up sitting back there waiting for the spawn, but I had to get out of there because someone was calling a mortar on me. And it got kind of chaotic right here. I didn't know what was going on. I was getting grenaded from all directions, trying and hoping someone would come and help me. Help didn't come for a while, but here's where I kind of go off. There's one, this dude, two, uh, there's three, and then I hurry up and switch to my pistol, hurt, and I end up taking him out and then getting taken out at the same time. But that was a pretty little epic run right there trying to hold B down because they were wanting to get in this back room. That back room is a huge part to holding B. You always have people back there. I'm sure Battlefield fans, all, all the people who watch this, who play this board on Conquest, know that is a, that is a main area where people like to chill. And then here's coming up, I uh, do another little run right here. It's actually pretty decent. Uh, I take out the guy with the flashlight. I let the let this guy go. Oh, I end up getting them. Then I mow through. I don't know if I got all three of them or what the deal was there, and I ended up pulling him off. Uh, there was so much stuff going on. I don't know if I killed one, two, three, four, five guys right there. I'm on a hundred percent. I didn't see a kill assist, so I think I got them all. And right there, I got smacked with the USAS 12 with the uh, 12 gauge frag round, which I, I'm not gonna even go there. I just think that is dumb. Uh, I don't know. I want, what's your guys' take on it, actually? You guys think that's... If you ever gotten into a game like that, PC gamers, I don't know what you're experience, experiencing. Anyone with the PS3, have you noticed this? Uh, Young Cruz is a sub of mine and one of my clan mates. My clan, pretty much, uh, we're just called Kill Company. We're not, uh, 
we're not no hard we're not hardcore within trying to get wins and do game battles and all that other stuff we just play as a group have fun and then uh, enjoy the game the best that we can but I was just wondering what everyone if anyone on PS3 anything has that experience with people using that shotgun with the frag round have you found that being a nuisance I'm sure some of you guys probably actually use it if you use it you know that's fine I hate it I just my opinion I just think it's crap uh, I think it's I just think it's crap that's just my opinion just keep the shotguns with shotgun rounds slugs anything keep the explosive rounds out of it you're pumping out explosive rounds like crazy uh, that's just my opinion you know I'm no you know I'm not telling you that you suck or anything but from what I've seen with this group that I played against and for the most part when I play against people the guys who use that when it comes to actually using rifles they are terrible so as you can tell right there I just got lit up again with that USAS 12 uh, just my opinion though so who knows I wish they would nerf it but they got a lot of stuff to fix with the PS3 they still have some I still have some mic issues from time to time I have squad issues from time to time and I shouldn't have spawned off my buddy right there <laughs> but oh well crap happens and I also noticed the matchmakings I don't even know why they call it matchmaking they should just say uh, finding you a game because there is no matchmaking in my opinion uh, I've been put into games where the whole other teams pass level 45 and everyone on my team is like a level 4 or 5 that, that's not matchmaking in my opinion that's just putting you in a game and letting you go to town so who knows but they got they got some issues to fix hopefully they fix it for the PS3 uh, I'm still gonna play it no matter what I got a lot of friends on here I was kinda happy right there so I was just kinda bobbing up and down I think I don't know what I was doing I didn't think I did it <laughs> for this long maybe I'm I don't know you guys seeing this maybe it's my recording uh, maybe I was screwing around me and young cruiser having a good time we had a blast I like to have some fun I actually might just do a live commentary where you actually not even a commentary just uh, I, I, I know a way and I'll show I know most people probably have that way too where I can have my uh, in-game communication and what I'm talking at the same time going through I uh, the only problem is the syncing it sometimes is a major pain, but I'm really thinking it because there's some funny stuff that go down with me and Young Cruz play. It, it gets pretty hilarious, so I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping uh, maybe some people would want to see that. I'd be more than happy to do that. Uh, I'll probably do a little bit more on my channel because I know uh, there's other directors, and I just got hate by a claymore. I know there's other directors uh, on this channel that'll be putting up videos besides me. So, I just got smacked again by the USAS-12. I mean, look at that thing. You know what? The first time I was actually getting shot by that, I actually thought there was a light armored vehicle shooting at me. Because it has that sound, the blast. It almost, uh, it's just, it, what, wow. Uh, but anyway, there's enough about me ranting about that, and I'm sure you guys don't want to hear that. But I hope you guys really do enjoy this gameplay. I know it's long. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, I do get lit up a little bit. Right here I was kind of talking some crap with the young crews laughing having a good time because I was killing them and I was going to shoot this guy and I was like I don't want to get you next and I don't get him. I miss. I'm all over the place. But hey it happens right? You know? You can't always have your good games. That's what, that's what I like about Battlefield is not every game you play is going to be great, awesome, you know, insane. I think I played like 10 games tonight and 5 of them, 6 of them maybe were just great that I have on my HD PVR right now that uh, I'm debating on what ones I'm going to put up and if I'm going to have time to do them all because it takes time to uh, do these so who knows what I'm going to end up doing. I think this is the spot, is it? Yeah, here it is. I, right now is good teamwork. I have Young Cruz um, sitting on B. And I'm going to sit back here and you will see why. I'm going to sit back here while he caps B and I'm going to protect him from the back. So all he has to do is worry about the front, which he ends up leaving. But as soon as I turn around, oh look, he spawns and I shoot him in the back of the head. That is why I kind of come back to the back. Uh, if anyone stuck around long enough to see that, I'm sure some people may know, may not know. I saved Young Cruz right there from being knifed. But... 
I'm sure some of you probably already, some of you know, but anyone who didn't know, it's a good little, decent little tip I would suggest on doing, but uh, kind of go off here again, too. Just having one of those games where it just seemed like everything I did, nothing was going wrong. I do get, I get bum rushed here, though. Too many guys, I didn't know which one to shoot first. I kind of uh, thought I had the first guy dead, so I moved my gun, but look at that. Shotgun, 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 M16. Uh, if you notice that right there, I wish I would have probably slowed it down for everyone to see, but it's unreal. I think they were a group of friends because the one guy was on our team at the beginning of the round, and he ended up uh, switching sides somewhere in the middle. So I think he was uh, on one of their sides. I'm not sure. But, hey. It's just what happens. You know, the squads don't really work. Like, Young Cruz and I was going to get into a game the one time, and... We didn't get in together. Well, we did get in together. He was put... Um, there was three open slots. Two on one team, one on the other. Three of us joined at once. He was put on the other team. I was put on the other on one team. And then the other guy who joined at the same time as we did, which I do believe we did, because the connection and everything, whenever he popped up, we all just joined in. He was put on, uh, on Young Cruz's team. And I'm thinking... You know, you got a party coming in, but you decide to put um, the random guy with my buddy. So I was like, I don't know. Who knows? But we got pushed back. As you can tell, we're going to lose. Young Cruz called him out, so I came around the corner and just busted him. Uh, saved his death right there. And then I think he gets brought down again. Yeah, he does right there. I'm trying to find the guy who shot him. Can't find him, so... Then I'm going to go up and revive. That's something maybe everyone want to do too. Check before you go for your revive. Saved his death. I hope everyone enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, subscribe to Gaming Label. Come to my channel and give me a sub. I won 38 and 10. I was the MVP. Hope everyone enjoyed. This is Gamble. Thanks for sticking around. Peace out.